money off of the black folks around here. The other nations, right. everybody get rich off of black people. Let me tell you something. Why black people can't get a store? Why black people can't go to the bank and get a loan? Bring it out, right? We've been here 400 years. Free labor, all the military, we done fought in every war, okay? We done paid taxes since this country started. But another man from another nation can go and get a loan and start a business. But this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 44. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Here you go. It says it right there. He shall, he shall lend to you, Negro. But guess what? He don't even lend to us. Bring it out, huh? Only thing he lends us is a, 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 a damn traffic ticket. Jeez. Only thing he lends us is a jail sentence. That's right. Bring That's the only lending you gonna get from him. You ain't gonna get nothing but a bill. Hey, hey, bro. Hey. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Hey, man, you feeling this? What's, what's the word, man? How you doing, man? Get out, bro. Hey, know you. you know you know your nationality? I shut down. Hey, come on in, man. It's, you know, what's your name? My name's William. William, nice to meet you, man. I'm, I'm Jaheem. Nice to meet you. And you know why you didn't know your nationality? Because they don't want you to know your nationality. Okay, if you if you ask the white man, we, we, we just landed at slavery. That's it. What happened to who was we before slaves? They don't want you to know who you was before slaves. You know why? Because they know who you are. That's they know right. you are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. All right? Check this out. Let me show you something. You see, your, you see yourself on this, uh, on this, on this sign right here. Yeah. Where you see yourself at? Uh, American black, Judah. You Judah. You're from the tribe of Judah. You're from the tribe of Christ. You're from the tribe of kings. You're from the tribe of David. Okay, you from a you from a line of lineage of kings and queens, bro. But they don't want you to know that. You know why? Because if, if once we know who we are, that means everybody gonna know who they are, and then our kingdom's gonna come. Watch this. Let me show you something. Uh, go back to um. Oh, uh, go back to Jose. Go go Jose for a sec. Let me show you something. Ignorance is bliss, bro. Okay, they they gotta keep our people. They gotta keep our people stupid. Okay, it's, 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 a, it's a reason behind not showing you who you are as a, as a, as a, as a child when, when you go to school. Okay, watch this, read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verses 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see that? He said our people, his people. He said his people, read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. You hear that? What's the knowledge? The knowledge is in this Bible. Okay, you know what? They taught our people to despise reading. We, we see a book, we're like, we don't see no damn book. For real. And, 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 and this is, and listen, this is one of the most famous books on the planet Earth. This book is everywhere. And it's right under your nose. Your history is right under your nose and you never even knew it. That's how they do. They, they like to hide stuff in plain sight. You ever heard of hidden in plain sight? That's what they do. They hide your truth right in front of you. Go ahead, read. What you got? Go ahead, read again. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So when you when you don't keep the commandments, you are destroyed. That's the problem. We Listen, as a matter of fact, go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. you got to understand the, 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 con, the context of why he's saying our people is destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because the knowledge is, if we keep the commandments, we live. Okay? Right. If we don't, we die. Read uh, Deuteronomy 28 again. First start 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Most High is saying, if you listen and hearken to what he says in the Bible, that you're going to be set on high. Now go to 15. Now this is the opposite end. What happens when you don't listen? Watch, three. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is the, is the so this is the, so that's the downside of it. Either you get blessed by keeping the commandments, or you don't keep the commandments and you become cursed. You got any questions? Yeah, see it. So listen, hold on. Let me show you something. Okay, 
Now, this is this is the the, the, the King James Version Bible, right? This is how I'm going to show you how it's talking about us. Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. No matter of fact, go 48 first. Watch this. So this is this is how you show people that the Bible is talking about us. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. So the Lord's saying we got to serve our enemies for everything. Yo, that shirt. Who do you think made that shirt? Bring it out. Teach your people. No, no. The Lord don't, don't, don't so. Um, our enemies? There you go. Oh, he's a quick learner. I like that. So everything you got, that coffee you're drinking, them shoes, everything is, is, is made by your enemies, right? Read. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. So that means anytime you got to get something to eat, you got to go to Kroger's. Your enemy owns Kroger's, okay? See, his enemy don't own Kroger's. His, his people own Kroger's. Bring it out. So that ain't talking about him. Bring it out. It's talking about you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and one of all things, anytime you got to pay a water bill, bring it out. Your enemy, you got to pay your water bill to your enemy. You see what I'm saying? Anytime you want to get an education, you got to go to your enemy. Bring it he out. ain't got to go to his enemy. Check this out. He can grow. He can be born as a child and never have to get anything from a Negro. See, he can. He can get an education from a white man. He can. He can. He can go to a college degree with a white man. He can get a job with a white man. He can get with a company and become a CEO from a white man. He can go to a bank from a white bank and get money from a. He ain't never got to deal with the Negro. You see what I'm saying? So he ain't cursed. He blessed. He in his heaven. Bring it out. Right? You the one in hell, bro. Now go to 68. Bring it out. Watch this. Read verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So when, so you know Moses uh, was freed the people of Israel out of Egypt before. You heard that story before, right? So he said, We're gonna go back to Egypt again. Egypt is synonymous with what? Go to uh second uh, Exodus. 20 uh, Exodus 20. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You see that? Egypt means bondage, right? Egypt means bondage. So now go to 68 reading. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So that means he's going to bring us back in bondage again in ships. Read. What, what ships you think he's talking about? So you know, you're, you, you know our ancestors are slaves, right? Right, so slave ships. Read, watch this, listen. So that's in the Bible. Slave ships is in the Bible. How 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 a book that's 2,000 years old know about slavery? That's a prophecy, ain't it? Right. That means what? That this book is the truth. That's right. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. You see, they, we were sold to our enemies. Bring it out. Okay? These people, no other nation of people are your friends. They are not your friends. Okay? They are your enemies. Right. And you got to treat them treat them as such. That's right. Meaning what? You don't be mean to them. No. You ain't got to be disrespectful to them. But don't trust them. Right. right. The Lord tells you that not to trust your enemies. Real quick, go to Sirach 12 and 10. So long, sis. Let me show you something about trusting your enemies. You ain't supposed to do that. Go to Sirach 12 and 10 real quick. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Bring it out. Never trust thine enemy. You hear that? The law say never trust your enemy. Right. So that means if your enemy say, hey, what's your name again? What? William, I'm going to go get you some coffee, okay? You want a coffee, William? You, you say, hell no. You ain't getting me no coffee. If you're going to give me a coffee, we're going to go together. And I get my coffee. Don't ever don't don't ever trust your enemy. Read again. Right. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You see, you see that? Now go back to 68. Go back to 68. Okay? So you gotta realize we got enemies. And they showing that that we are they are enemies. They showing us every day. They shooting us down in the street. Listen, let me tell you something. Yo, these white folks, and this ain't a hate campaign. 
Okay, but this is a wake up campaign. Right, okay, right. these white folks can shoot at the police, run, run, a, run a car into the police, right. hammer a police, and they won't even pull the damn trigger to stop. Bring it out! Right. And you ain't even got a gun in your hand, and they shooting you down in the street. Bring it out! Why is that? The Lord is causing that because the Lord is. And go to Hosea five and fifteen real quick. Bring it out, man. Because the Lord is trying to wake his people up. Right. You out here playing every day, like everything is like this. We at Disney, the Disneyland. This ain't a place of fun, right? Okay, this is a place of a, a, a content. Okay, we being punished being here. Remember, he says we was we're brought here uh, as slaves and ships. Okay, never to be seen again. We are brought here. This is our prison. Right. Why would you? Why would you think you living? You supposed to have a good time at prison? You ain't even real. You ain't even from here. We from Israel. We from the land of Jerusalem. That's oh, right. Damn America. This ain't our country. Right. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter five, verse fifteen. I will go and return to my place till they till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. You hear that? The Most High said he's going to turn his back and, and, and watch the children of Israel get shot down in the street, get, get railroaded, go to get put in jail for jaywalking for 10 years, okay, until you recognize his offense. You understand? Hey, William, are you paying attention, William? All right, so listen, William. So, so you know when you go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, that's telling you what, William? What is this? What is that showing you? Do around 68. Don't trust your enemies. Okay, what? Your enemies don't trust you. I guarantee it. See, listen, I bring the demons out. You see that? This, that's what this truth do. That's what it do. Hey, how can I help you, sir? How can I help you? You got any questions? Uh, yeah. Should be on the share drive. What do you have to do to get to heaven? What do you got to do to get to heaven? First of all, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. No, 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 no. Two things. That's it. First of all, all depends. What's your nationality? Well, it says Matthew four seventeen. Um, white and Indian. So you're already in your heaven. I'm Indian. You're, but, but who's your father? My, my father was a a poor farmer. We were slaves. What was your father Native American? White Jesus. He prayed for white Jesus. Was your father white or was he you was your father white with a little touch of Native American? Was your father white or was he Native American? Let's be honest. So your father, go ahead, go to numbers. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You hear that? The most high says you gotta repent. First of all. Okay, that's one that's the first thing. Now what else is it? What's next? You tell me what's next. You, you, you gotta ask, repent, right? You gotta ask Jesus to save you. Repenting is an action word, sir. Who's here to okay? save you? Repent is an action word. Repent and just a, a word that you just say. You gotta do the commandments, okay? All right, give me uh, what's that, uh, James? All you gotta do is say it, and then oh, it asks the Lord to save you. Go back, they ask yourself. Well, save who? Yourself. The most high ain't here for everybody. Bring it out. Matthew 15, 24. Yes, he is. He never says no. Jesus never hey, says no. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent but into the low seat of the house of Israel. Yes, right. right. So who the house of Israel? Bring it out. Anybody? If he's not, he's not sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, who the house of Israel? Anybody that asks Jesus to save them, he says yes. That's not the house of Israel. Read it again. Read it again. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So who's the house of Israel, sir? The Jewish people. Then who's the Jewish people? Check it out. The Jewish people was the chosen people. That's right. So who are they? Bring it out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man is come to save that which is lost. Okay, so who's lost? Everybody is lost until they come to the Lord. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, now. 
So who's so who's everybody? Everybody's not lost. Okay? No, they're not. Listen, if you if you're him, right? You can go to a, you can go to a white bank and get a loan. You can go to a white restaurant and get food. You can go to a white school and get an education. How is he lost? Right. He, his, his people runs and controls everything. He ain't lost. He in his, 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 his He used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.